Hey everyone, Slambo here, hopping on another thread. This is one that was a little more difficult for me, just like a few of the others recently. This is for Down Under Tunage. Uh, he asked us to show records that have tracks that mention the planets of the uh, solar system uh, and the signs of astrology. I'm not getting as far as I wanted to on this one, as I feared, but I do have a, a, a good sampling to start with. Uh, you know, my collection is still not one of the bigger collections. So for the sun, we start off with the police on Ghost in the Machine. There's a track on here. Track number three, Invisible Sun. Uh, and then the next, the first planet out from the sun is Mercury. Well, I don't have anything with Mercury in the title, as we saw in the Elements thread, but I do have things on Mercury Records. This is the Smothers Brothers. Mom always liked you best. Uh, for Venus, which is the next planet out, my first thought was I'm Your Venus by the Bengals, but I don't have a physical version of that, so that doesn't quite count, even though I do know about them. Uh, the next one out is, of course, the third planet from the sun. That's the Earth. And for that one, I've got Shel Silverstein, uh, Songs and Stories. This is a, uh, a gold stamp promo. There's a track on here called Scum of the Earth. Uh, and then for Our Moon, on this one, this CD, that actually ended up in a legal problem because of the title. Now that's what I call Steampunk Volume 1. They had to change the name of this this album uh, after the uh, Now That's What I Call group got a hold of the uh, got a hold of this. There's a track on here, track number seven. It's simply called Moon. Uh, then moving further out, the next planet out is Mars. And for that one, we go to the UHF soundtrack, and there's a long title, song, long song title on here, Attack of the Radioactive Hamsters from a Planet Near Mars. And there it is, track four. Uh, moving out beyond Mars, we get to Jupiter. And for that one, you know, classical, classical collectors have it easy on this one. Uh, they just go with whole planets. Uh, and I'm going to do the same, but from Hooked on Classics from the, class, the uh, wonderful KTEL record. Uh, there is a track on here called Jupiter. All right, so moving out from Jupiter, um, we also talked about in the comments about doing the, uh, the other moons of the solar system. I found a couple. Uh, one of Jupiter's moons is Europa, and there's a song on this track, on this album, Tea Leaves, Coffee Beans, and a Little Jazz. Track number two is called Europa. Uh, moving further out in the satellite system, the next few, the uh, major planets, I don't have a whole lot of tracks about. The next one, let's see, Uranus, Neptune, uh, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, I don't have any about them themselves, but for Hyperion, which is one of Saturn's moons, I go with the Hyperion Outfall Serenaders. This is the official band of Manhattan Beach, California. They actually played at my wedding. Uh, they're a Dixieland jazz band. Uh, Hyperion Outfall was actually a sewage treatment plant uh, just between Manhattan Beach and Santa Monica. All right, and next, further out, uh, we've got uh, Pluto, and then a little further out, if you look on uh, a bunch of uh, astronomy pages, you'll find there is a moon called Styx. And we've got uh, the single, Mr. Roboto by Styx. And on the back, it's Snowblind. So those are planets and moons that I was able to find. Once we get into the, uh, the astrology signs, I had a lot less success. Okay, one quick more thing, me from the future popping in here. Uh, while I was getting ready for another video, I found one more thing that fits on Worse Than Slime Volume 1. There's a track on here called The Astrology Rap. And now back to the regularly scheduled video. Uh, looking through my notes here, I've only got two of these. And the first one is on George Carlin's Parental Advisory Explicit Lyrics album, uh, which you can see I got from Half Price Books for just a couple bucks. Uh, the second track on here, I Ain't Afraid of Cancer. 
And the other one that I was able to find was not a single track, but Capricorn Records. This is Martin Mull, his self-titled release. So not as well, uh, not as well represented in my collection as I was hoping they would be, but that's what I've got today. See you next time.